This custom home that we're about to walk through has so many great electrical and design upgrades. It's got a pool in the backyard, which we'll get to later on in the video, and then wait until you see the primary bedroom and bathroom. They really went all out in this home. Stick around for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. More on that a little bit later. Today we're walking through a custom home that was built back in 2021 with Texas Artisan Homes. This home is over 5,300 square feet. It has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. We're sitting on around a third of an acre. And unlike most homes that we go through that are just model homes with builders and are just a representation of what you could do with that specific builder, but are never actually for sale, this is the complete opposite. This custom home is for sale at $3.2 million and the listing agent was even telling me that the sellers could be open to including all the furniture and decor that you see in the home. In other words, what you're seeing is what you're getting and that's why I'm really excited to walk you through everything that this home offers. Now we're gonna start in the kitchen and while we're here, I do wanna give a shout out to the listing agent, Penny Rose with Austin Real Estate. Penny walked me through the home before I took this video and just explained so many different great details of this home and I'm gonna include as many of them as possible in this video. Starting off in the kitchen, I like the subtle lighting and the pendant lights that they have here just because there's so much cabinet lighting already. And then I do believe the focal point of this kitchen has to be this marble countertop. Look at the movement that's in here. And the other upgrades that they chose really complements this. Like take a look at the backsplash. They kept the tile simple, but they put it in a herringbone pattern. And then they did the pot filler right above this large stove top with a designer vent hood above it with freestanding shelves on either side. What I want you to notice here is the grout color that they chose in the backsplash. It really provides that contrast that I think a lot of people are looking for and also complements all those dark veins running through that marble countertop. Now on either side of the single basin sink are dishwashers. I think that's great to have two dishwashers. I was just thinking to myself, there's so many times I do the dishes, I run it, then I want them to dry, and then they just sit there for a little while while all the other dishes pile up in my sink. So now I'm wondering how have I lived without two dishwashers? <laughs> and that's the dangerous part of walking these homes, right? Uh, now this is gonna be the pantry. I love the built-in shelves that they have in here. and Just the attention to detail with lighting, which we're really gonna focus in on throughout this home because the electrical package that they selected in this custom home is amazing. Take a look at the outlets majority of the outlets pop out like this. The listing agent was telling me this was a $60 per outlet upgrade. And even the outlets uh, in the walls pop out like that. So you're gonna see that throughout the video. And if you can imagine due to code, you have to have outlets throughout the home in every single room that $60 adds up very quickly. But I love the look, it keeps all the walls and even the backsplash that you saw previously very sleek, very clean cut. Moving on, we are in the breakfast nook area. I like the two windows that are off this breakfast nook that look out to the pool in the back. And I'm calling that a breakfast nook area because there is a separate dining area at the front of the home that we'll get to later on in the video. Focusing in on the living room, I love this wine storage area and what would normally be a countertop material, they use that on the wall, wrapping that wine storage area as well as the fireplace, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. What I absolutely love about this living room are the three glass doors on the back wall bringing in so much natural light in this area and that's why I just have to take a seat and just admire the design upgrades they chose here including the lighting within the tray ceiling which you'll see in many different parts throughout this home and there's still a lot that we need to get to so we'll get to that dining room like I mentioned across from that dining room is a study with a secret closet which I'll show you Upstairs, there's a game room, media room, there's even a balcony off the front of the home upstairs. So we'll get to all of that. But before we get there, I wanna head outside and show you this pool and outdoor kitchen area. And I think they did a fantastic job out here. It starts with this sitting area around a TV. That TV is on a fantastic accent wall. I love the tile work that they did there. On the right of that tile work is a door that would lead to the primary bedroom and bathroom, which we'll actually head to next. Inside the pool, I like that they have a chill sitting area in there. They also have a jacuzzi in the center of the pool that seems like more of like the focal point of that pool area. And then keep in mind, I said the sellers were open to keeping the decor here. So that longhorn on the wall, 
that could be your longhorn with the purchase of this album. So uh, just keep all of that in mind. And all joking aside, I like what they did here with this rock wall. So instead of just keeping it all rock, they broke it up with some greenery. And I think that that makes a big difference, especially if you're just coming out here to just sit down, relax, like right here in the pool. And you want something to look out to other than just maybe like a mound of dirt. Uh, then I think that that's great, especially because this lot does slope upward, as you can see there. So they did have to put something in there to kind of protect the back of the house. Okay, moving on, we're gonna head to the primary bedroom and bathroom next. And while we head over there, I do wanna tell you a little bit about the community. We're in a community called Rough Hollow. It's located in Lakeway, Texas, but this section of Rough Hollow is technically in Austin, Texas. So it's right on the border of Austin Lakeway. And Lakeway is a sprawling suburb that has these beautiful rolling hills through it. And throughout these hills is the Colorado River, which just looks absolutely gorgeous. In fact, if you stay till the end of the video, I'll put my drone up in the air above this house and I'll take you around Rough Hollow and I'll show you views of the hills and the river. Again, it's absolutely gorgeous. So definitely stay till the end. You won't want to miss that. Moving on, we are in the primary bedroom where they have this large tray ceiling. The size of this room is massive. In fact, the bed that you're looking at is actually two queen size beds put together and then they have a, uh, well, I don't know what you would call it, a very large uh, mattress that goes over the top of those two queen size beds. And you still get those great windows off that back wall that look out to the pool. That's actually the door that I was mentioning earlier. So if you do want to exit out that door, obviously you can just move that chair and make that happen. And then we do have a fantastic primary bathroom. And this is where you really feel the difference between a custom home and a production home builder. And I'm not knocking production home builders. I've personally worked with 18 different production home builders just in the last two years. And I have plenty of clients that have built around 5,000 square feet. The only thing I would say is tough with production home builders is there aren't too many options in the primary bathroom just because they don't want to deal with the complexity of changing around plumbing locations. And so they might just have maybe one or two different options in the primary bathroom. Obviously when you do custom, you can do really fun things like this. Like take a look at this massive walk-in shower where they did the frameless glass. They did this stone accent on the floor. They used the same tile on the floor of the bathroom. They just extended it on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floor. And then they did this massive shampoo niche and even did some lighting within that shampoo niche, which I think is an amazing touch. What you're also seeing here on the walls are jets coming out of the walls above those jets are two shower heads and then i'm not sure if you missed it previously there were also two rain shower heads that i showed you before this so you can have quite the shower in here or put it this way you'll come out of the shower clean for sure it's almost like a guarantee uh but absolutely fantastic uh, on this side you have the commode even for the commode i love the tile that they wrapped around they even have this accent tile behind the commode which looks great uh, when we get back out into the primary bathroom, we have that freestanding tub, which I think is really the, the focal point here. It draws your eyes in when you first get into the bathroom. And then I think when you see that walk-in shower, it's just incredible what we just saw. And I like what they did here too, where they kept that same accent wall that we saw previously in the water closet. So they have some really good consistent touches and then they just keep utilizing similar material that looks fantastic. Like take a look at the countertop here that has very similar movement to what we're seeing in the flooring. And then they wrap that entire wall with the tile. I love the lighting around the mirrors. The lighting is such a big factor where you see it in the ceiling tray and around the mirrors. And you're gonna see a lot of that in the closets as well. Now, when I got into this home and when I was turning on all the lights, I noticed right away when I got into this closet, there were actually three light switches, but there's only one light fixture in this closet. And when I turned them on, I realized one light switch is for the light fixture. There's another light switch for the lighting that you're seeing here inside the built-in closets, which by the way, there's like glass cases for jewelry, so many different cool parts of this closet. And then the third light switch was for the tray ceiling lighting, which you'll again see throughout the home. And those are the three light switches that I'm referring to. And that's when I knew I was really in for it because 
I saw the pictures obviously of this home before I got here, but when I got in, I, I just, it just blew me away. And there are often times where the opposite happens when you get into homes, where the pictures look absolutely amazing and then you get into the home and it's a bit underwhelming, or let's just say the photographer did a great job stretching the look of a home. But I love walking homes that absolutely deliver when you're walking them in person and this one, definitely delivered and I think it continues in this second closet where you have this island in the middle you have all these built-ins along the walls within those built-ins you have these mirrors that's why you keep seeing my reflection everywhere in this closet and then the lighting just complements everything like take a look at the lighting that's within all these built-ins absolutely fantastic and that's why I have to say I think this was one of my favorite parts of the home I've never been much of a closet person I still have t-shirts that I wore in high school and it drives my wife crazy but I love them and I wear them a lot uh, but I think your closet is actually a big factor in your home there is nothing wrong with going around your closet in the morning getting ready putting something on and feeling good about yourself. And I think in this day and age, there's more of a focus on mental health. And look, if your space can kind of help you with that, great lighting can help with that. And it can just make you feel better, especially when you're just getting ready in the morning, then I think that that's very important. And that's what I love about that closet space and that primary bedroom and bathroom. Moving on, we have a study and a dining room at the front door, which we just saw there. We're gonna get to that in a couple minutes. I wanna cover the back right of this home that has the utility room and the garage area. And in the utility room, I love what they have here. They have just like a cushion for a dog to sit there rather than having cabinetry there. Of course, you have plenty of cabinetry elsewhere in this utility room. And then what I also like about this area is you have a dog washing station. Now, being that this is custom, you always have the possibility of something like this, but I'm actually also seeing some production home builders putting this as an option in some of their floor plans because in the Austin metro area, it's a very dog friendly city. And so a lot of people with dogs love having an upgrade like that. What I also think people love is a very cool mud bench. Check this out where they have a bench in the middle. You have, uh, a cabinets on either side and then you just have these built-in shelves shelves going all the way up to the ceiling it's a very cool design element here that just takes a space that would normally just be a simple bench and they just made it a little bit more unique continuing to add to this amazing design in this home now, this is going to be a two-car garage outside of this two-car garage they do have a covered uh, driveway for part of the driveway i like the windows that are in this garage it brings in a lot of natural light and that includes the translucent panels on that garage door. Very cool stuff. Every single part of this home, I'm telling you, they just took it to the next level. And that's why I love touring custom homes like this. You can really add a designer's touch in every way possible. And as you can tell, uh, they didn't really spare any expense with the design here. Now, we already looked at the pantry, which is on the right, on the left. We have another mud bench because that door would lead out to your uh, covered driveway or a portion of the driveway that's covered. And uh, again, this is going to be the pantry that we saw previously. Now on this side, we have the second bedroom downstairs. It does have an in-suite full bathroom. And again, we do have two bedrooms downstairs, two bedrooms upstairs, and then we do have two full bathrooms downstairs along with a powder bathroom that we'll see. Uh, later on in the video now while we go through this walk-in closet and then the in-suite full bathroom next and then we'll head over to see the uh, study and dining room and then we'll head upstairs i want to talk a little bit about the community that we're in called rough hollow now when people ask me why are so many people moving to the austin metro area i answer that question by simply showing them communities like this rough hollow because the views are so dramatic in this community and then you got the colorado river running through here when you just drive through the neighborhood it's breathtaking and to give you an example of that i had a client close recently in this community and when they bought which was a year prior to them closing it was the height of the pandemic so we drove separately and you know we were masked we were cautious they had just flown in and i remember getting out of the car when we got to a house in this community 
and my buyer just looked at me and said are you kidding me like do, do you see this? this is amazing like how do places like this exist and seeing their faces was priceless priceless to the point where even a year and a half later i still remember it like it was yesterday because i just in that moment knew that they were probably going to buy in this community because even just driving through it was amazing and so so happy for them they have a view off their backyard and they have views pretty much everywhere throughout their house and so if they're watching shout out to them and if you're looking to get those views stay tuned till the end of the video again i take my drone up above this house and i'll show you all the views that are here moving on we are in the dining room which is just left of the front door and i love what they did here in the dining room they have this ceiling design you have this accent wall that provides this perfect touch to this room and looking at the furniture i love what they did here it's just like the colors all work together really well and i don't talk too much about interior design simply because you're never really buying it what you're seeing uh, with model homes like i mentioned before that builders uh you know put up just as a representation of what they can do you're never buying into the design and same thing goes for resales obviously all the furniture goes with the uh, sellers but in this case it's a little bit unique where you can get the furnishings that are within the home along with this great flow and great uh, upgrades that we've been talking about as well on this side we have uh, the study which has its own unique ceiling design has great lighting i like the glass doors on the side of the study it brings in a ton of natural light as i always say in my videos if you see my camera continue to dim the interior of the room it's because there's so much natural light coming in it doesn't want to whitewash the windows so it continues to try to struggle exposing properly for these rooms and that's a very good thing when you see my camera struggling like that now, i mentioned earlier there was a secret closet door i guess it's not much of a secret I, I think the secret is in the fact that this closet just keeps going and going and going uh, first you have these interior cabinets that are on the inside of this closet you have all these electrical upgrades that were done that tie into this one space and then again it just keeps going and going so this is where i felt like it was a little bit more of a surprise i, I knew the stairwell was probably under here i didn't expect that much space and then if you're wondering how much an electrical upgrades they did this is how much they did <laughs> i don't know how else to say it other than when you have that many wires tying into a centralized location you have done a, a lot in electrical upgrades so let's just keep it at that uh, but it is good to have uh, all your wiring um, ending in a certain area so i actually have a client who's closing next month where they did that same thing and that way you can go to one centralized location for any devices that you have. Uh, and that's obviously something you want to pre-plan when you're building your home. Getting back to the front door, when I first walked in, I went right to the living room. So I was so excited. I wanted to show this ceiling design. I thought it was epic and something very unique that I don't think I've seen anywhere else where they have that long ceiling design going all the way out to this living room. It just draws your eyes upward. And that's what I think is so cool about this home. There's different subtle elements of the home like lighting in the stairwell that you see here that just make it feel so unique and continue to draw your eyes into these areas that have amazing design uh, amazing upgrades that we keep showing and that's why i actually started on the stairwell i thought that lighting was so cool i had to put that right at the beginning of the video now at the top of the stairwell we have this loft area what we the two doors that we see in front of us is actually a balcony and we'll get to that in a second i wanted to show this wall of just cowboy hats i thought that was such a simple way of designing that wall just to kind of break up that space that's there and then heading outside absolutely incredible so i was so excited to show you this i actually forgot to go through the powder bathroom downstairs so we will get to that at the end of the video but i thought this was so cool hence why i i accidentally skipped over to the powder bathroom and just came up here because i thought this was so unique to just have a balcony off the front of your home that you can come out to and relax and even maybe even use this loft space because it's so enclosed as just like a second study, which I'm having a lot of buyers ask me about because I, I work with a lot of buyers where uh, both spouses are in tech or you know even if you're not in tech, a lot of people work from home now and uh, they always want like a second study area. And I think that loft can accomplish that, especially when you have a, a second floor balcony right off of that area. It's fantastic. 
Moving on, we are in one of the bedrooms, which I love that just above the bed, you can capture a view. Like as soon as you wake up, you get out of the bed, you get a view right off of the windows that are in your bedroom. It's fantastic. And then we do have a full bathroom in between the two bedrooms that are in this area. And I'll come back here in a second. I want to just cover this walk-in closet, which I would say is a pretty good size for uh, a spare bedroom upstairs. And by the way, the view that we just saw in this room, there's a view in the other bedroom, there's a view in the game room. So we'll definitely show all of them in detail. I love what they did here in the full bathroom. The design just gets better and better and better as you just continue to walk through the home. Like one entire wall on this side is just tile. You have this large mirror with the light around it, just bringing so much light into this bathroom. Even behind the commode, they ran a tile all the way up to the ceiling. Such good design work. Everywhere you look, so much thoughtful detail in this home. Uh, and even on this side, we have that freestanding tub. I like the uh, shampoo niche that they have in there. And the tile is so glossy on the walls. When the, the, I think my camera is kind of picking it up. It reflects so much the light and it just brightens up the room so well, uh, which is not easy in a room like this that doesn't really have any windows in it. Uh, and I think that that design makes a massive difference when you're in here. Um, now, I will come back to this area. I'm going to come back to this area through the hallway. So basically, the other bedroom can be uh, is accessible to that bathroom. And then also the game room is accessible from that bathroom. But just to keep things a little bit organized. Uh, by the way, that door is for uh, just attic access. So there really wasn't much to see there. But just to keep everything organized, I wanted to come in from the hallway. And so just so you know where we're at, this is going to be that same bathroom that we were just in. Uh, we'll get to the bedroom uh, in, in a couple minutes. I really want to focus in on this game room area. I think this is really the dream. I talk to buyers almost every single day that are looking to move to Austin. And one of the requirements they seem to always have is they love what uh, Texas homes do on the second story where they have this like big game room, big uh, media room, which we're going to see next. And I think this really builds the dream where if you want like a hangout area, a bar with like a TV, you like to watch sports, you watch, want to watch a ball game. It's so great to do it in an area like this and you can just enjoy the space and that view that's off your side wall. Now, I do want to give a disclaimer that view uh, is there is a lot right next to this home that we're in. Uh, there is a neighbor that owns that lot, meaning that neighbor has a backyard that also faces out to that lot. So we believe that they bought it for the purpose of uh, just holding it to kind of preserve their view. But we can't say for sure. At the end of the day, they, they could build something there. But, um, you know, we're still waiting to hear back on, on what their plans are for that lot that they purchased next door. So again, that disclaimer is I don't know how protected that view will be right off of that game room area. Moving on, this is going to be the media room. Talk about a place to watch a ball game. And this is epic in this room. Uh, I, I always talk to people that say they love the idea of a theater room. The idea that you can watch just movies within your home on a gigantic projector is just, I think it's unbelievable for a lot of people, especially people that are moving from areas with high cost of living, high taxes. It's tough to get this amount of square footage in those areas. Whereas in Texas, I can probably tell you the last maybe 10 or 11 clients that I've had contract all have media rooms in their homes. So it's very popular here and, and why not? I think to have an area closed off here where, you know, if you have kids, this could be a play area. If you want a separate hangout area, that's great to do that in the game room and to have a media room where you can sit down, enjoy a movie and it's separate from the rest of the home. I think that that's fantastic. Okay, let's cover the bedroom here that also has a view off the side of the yard again there is that lot close by so we're still pending on what's going to be built there uh, but this looks great with the same ceiling design that we've seen in other rooms you have windows bringing in a lot of natural lights uh, even if they build something on that lot you still have that roadway there that's obviously going to be clear for the most part so you get these great views of the hillside and that's what you see throughout this community of Rough Hollow. And I'm really excited to get to that drone footage. So we'll be there soon. And uh, I'll definitely talk you through what's going on here in Rough Hollow. But before we get there, while I walk downstairs and I show you that powdered bathroom that we missed earlier, I do want to talk about a couple things. First off, 
Uh, there were motorized blinds in a few different places in this home. So I know for sure they're in the game room, in the primary bedroom, and then I think they're in one or two other areas. So not that you need to see me, you know, click a button and see blinds go down, uh, but I thought that that was a very cool upgrade that they already had in the home and were including it. Uh, and then the second part that I wanted to mention was something I said at the beginning of the video, which was you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. And I often say this in my videos, I am disrupting the real estate market because when people reach out to me, I gather their criteria, I understand what their needs are, and then I try to determine who the best realtor is for them. Now, sometimes that's me. Like I was just speaking to somebody last week, last week and their needs matched my last 14 clients that contracted. So I simply explained to them, I believe I'm the best realtor for them because this is their criteria fits exactly what I'm good at. I know all the options. I can help them navigate through the market easily. Now, most people who reach out to me, I do end up connecting them with another realtor who's more specialized in their criteria because again, I'm focused on a specific niche and I want you to work with a realtor who's focused on your niche. So my number's in the description of this video. Reach out to me, I'd be happy to help you out. And before I let you go, you have to take a look at this. Now, this is the drone footage that I promised you was coming that's gonna show this community and all the amazing views that are here. So first off, I'm taking up the drone above the home that we just saw. The car that we're seeing right there is giving you a good glimpse on what it's like to kind of drive through these winding roads. You can even see a roadway all the way in the back there that's going up that hillside. And so like I said earlier, you can just get these dramatic views just even driving through the community. Now, Rough Hollow is in its last phase of building, so there are still opportunities to build in this community if you're looking at this in 2023. And I gotta tell you, there aren't too many communities that neighbor the Colorado River, which you're seeing right in front of us. And so again, if you do like the idea of being in a community like this, reach out to me, would be happy to help. And then I wanted to give one more shout out to the listing agent of this home, Penny Rose at Austin Real Estate. Really appreciate you allowing me to put this on my channel. And then if you're still watching and you wanna see more, you wanna see another home in this community that has an amazing view, click on the thumbnail on your screen and trust me, you will not be disappointed. And then comment below on your favorite part of this home. I read every comment and I wanna hear from you. As always, hope this helps. Take care.